Hi, hello, good evening everyone. This is Coach Seth and I will be today's on today's FNL and I'm alone. <laughs> I'm all alone today. Hello, Maureen Balboa. Maureen is one of our uh, students here at Makeup Science Asia. Hello, Tin. I miss you, Tin. Tin is also one of our graduates. Hi, hi, hi. This is Friday Night Live. And thank you for joining tonight's stream. Tonight, we're going to talk about all about hooded eyes. <laughs> How do you do makeup for hooded eyes? What are hooded eyes? Eyeliners, eyeshadows, the works. There you go. Hello, Gail. Gail is here. Hi, guys. Okay, so let me just take my bangs off of my face with my glasses. So, of course, no, let's first discuss the characteristics of hooded eyes. Ako, uh, personally, I actually have here, I have here um, the semi-hooded eyes, meaning you can still see a lid right there. There you go. While... Um, some hooded eye people out there talagang naka-cover their eyelid right here. The flap of their eyelid is really covering their entire eye when they open up their eye. So I'm still a little bit lucky because I do have semi-hooded eyes, but these tricks that I'm going to show you can still work for you. Okay, so just remember that you have, if you have hooded eyes, the flabby part right here eats up a lot of the space of your eye. Let me just demonstrate by putting a concealer on that area and you'll see it disappear. I've actually done this magic trick a couple of times already. So that's the concealer. And then it just vanishes like crazy. I don't know. By the way, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fullwear Concealer. I'm also gonna use this as my base for my eyeshadows. So right, pro tip, you want to apply a very matte base for your eyelids before applying your eyeshadows. Are hooded eyes and monolids the same? No, they are not. For hooded eyes, you have this flabby part right here. You still have a crease though, but it's hidden deep inside that flab. For, mon for monolids, what happens is their uh, their eyelid is really, really flat like that. Kind of like that, no? I shouldn't be doing this to my eye. It's probably going to droop, but it's okay for the sake of science. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, now you just want to blend that. Does eye primer help? Yes, it definitely does. because um, if you know, or if you haven't known yet, your eyelids are naturally oily. And for us with hooded eyes, since there's a deep crease <laughs> inside this flap, then your oils will definitely gather there. And it will also gather all of your eyeshadows, your, um, your eye makeup products generally there. So an eye primer, which is really, really matte, and something light colored like this will help you because it will keep your natural oils at bay. Plus, it will make your eyeshadow colors pop out. If you're going to use a concealer, this one is a good one. Or just go for something um, very pigmented and very matte as well. And by the way, guys, we still have a voucher going. That's 25% off on all of our offered courses. Whether it's the basic, um, basic pro class, that's a 101, or the eye makeup class. Or the 103 professional makeup class, or even the personal um, makeup and hair class, they you can get it for 25% off if you avail the voucher. Just message us on Facebook. We are again Makeup Science Asia. There you go. By the way, the the vouchers are also transferable, or you can just send the link to the voucher to your friends. Should I set my eye primer? Well, yes, actually. Um, before, when my eyes weren't this hooded, I can get away with just, you know, um, slapping on my eyeshadow on top of a liquid base. Since um, putting eyeshadows on top of a liquid base, you get more color payoff with that kind of technique as well. But then again, since my eyes are getting even more hooded as I age, um, it, will, it helps me if I put on a powder first. There, because, you know, this part now is very um, deep. And the oils tend to go into that. I want to use like a very light colored eyeshadow, a cream colored one. Should my brush size be different if I have hooded eyes? Good question. <laughs> but wait, let me just set that with this very light colored eyeshadow powder. This should be matte, guys, by the way. Okay, so your brush size definitely helps you. This brush size is too much. <laughs> it's too big. 
if you want to really go into that um, area of your eye, your eyelids, uh, it's going to cover too much space and it's just going to be a mess. But I'm using this because I'm ju I just want to powder the entire thing. There. If you use a, um, something like this, this is still a round brush, but it's daintier like that. You can go into the area without creating such a big mess and still blending out your eyeshadows. So, yeah, this is our arch nemesis right here. If you use this big uh, of, um, of an eyeshadow brush, it's just going to be too much for you. You will have a very difficult time, especially since our eyelids are already very small. There you go. And then after setting your base with a cream-colored eyeshadow, you want to go into your um, eyeshadow colors now. Does brow shape matter to hooded eyes? Yes, actually. If you lift your eyebrows a little bit higher, actually, I have here my brows. Um, this is where it's naturally at, supposedly, for the base. But I, I did it a little bit higher so that I have more lid space right here as well as the other side. There you go. You can totally ignore the natural growth of your eyebrow hairs and create a higher lid space for you. So for eyeshadows, actually you're essentially contouring your eye. You want to apply or you want to create a fake crease using deeper eyeshadows. And then you want to lengthen it, lengthen your eye, extend it a little bit outward, wing it out no, so that you can compensate for the lack of lid space. So let me just show you here. If you have any questions from the viewers out there, just feel free to comment and I will definitely answer that. So I'm just getting a very warm colored crease shade right here. I'm going to do a neutral eye look for this eye and then maybe a colorful one for the other, but we'll see. There. So for and when you apply your transition shade, uh, you want to apply it exactly on your foot. So just relax your eye like this, okay? And then you want to apply that right there. Map it out where you want your eyeshadows to be or just up until that area. All right, guys, by the way, our Morphe palettes are available on our Shopee store. You can visit us. That's Makeup Science Asia. This is how much lid space you lose from your flap right there. So the reason why I'm asking you to relax your eye is because so that you can see where your features would naturally fall. And then when you once, once you've mapped out, that part of your eye, you can go back in and try to uh, stretch out your lid now so that you can just put on your eyeshadows. Why is my screen getting yellow? <laughs> Our classes are 25% off until January 31st. Yes, but you have to avail the voucher. I tried doing Catrice kanina, medyo di pansay tignan, lalo matako. Okay lang po ba Catrice for monolids? Yes, it's okay. But um, you have an even eyelids, right, Pia? So, yeah, you, you have to even them out using your eyeshadows. It, does, uh, it will look a little bit weird when you're relaxed, uh, when your eyes are closed or when it's distorted, like stretched out. But when you relax your eye, you can definitely see where the features would naturally fall. So same goes for mon monolids. But for monolids, it's best to go for the classic smoky eye where you get the most saturation here at the bottom and then it feathers upwards to a lighter shade just because you don't really have a crease to work with in the first place. Right. Send us a message on Facebook to get the discount voucher. Guys, uh, take advantage of the voucher. It's very, it's, an, uh, it's a good deal for all of us. <laughs> Plus, all of our classes are so worth it. There you go. There. I'm using this fluffy round brush right here, but it's not too dispersed <laughs> like that, right? So it's still um, confined in a circle like so, and then you want to use that to blend out your harsh edges. <laughs> Okay, 
As I've mentioned earlier, I want to extend this outward to compensate for the lack of lid space. Plus, um, for monolids, winged out um, eye shape, or if you wing out your eye shape, it's going to be more helpful for you. I'm so happy Smokey Eye and Double Cut is not to sa MSA. Yes, Tin is one of our graduates from the Boss Bay class. Again, that's the personal hair and makeup class. And for the last look or for the last session, you get to choose a look that you want to learn, like personally. There, whatever look that is, whether it's foxy eye or bridal, whatever. Coach said, Pansinin mo ko. Ha ha ha. Hello, Sam. There. So now I want to deepen up the outer corner right here. But again, you want to relax your eye first. And then just tap that pigment over there. There you go. And then you'll start blending it upwards towards your transition shade. But this should be lower than your transition shade and still a little bit higher than that valley that you have in your eye. There you go. How I hold my brush is I point it directly at the area I'm working on, but you can actually hold it like this as well and try to flick it upward to go in there very precisely still. If you if you lay the entire brush on your eyelid, the other areas of your eye are going to get covered with eyeshadow and you don't want that. You just want to very specifically place that eyeshadow on those areas. And if you can notice, I'm holding my brush like this, where my fingers are very far from the um, from the bristles. You can even go as far as like this, just to make sure that you're using a very light hand. You can notice my bristles are barely moving. There. Do we really need expensive eyeshadows? No. Nah. -uh. <laughs> you don't need that. There are a lot of good eyeshadows, local or drugstore. And for as long as you know what you're doing, the techniques, then you're good to go. Don't worry, because if you enroll in our classes, definitely we're going to make things work for you. We're going to help you out. How to choose a good color combination. You can always check the color wheel. But what I do is I look at photos <laughs> and then um see what the uh, what colors would match so they uh to visualize right for example looking at this really nice photo of let's say for example of a barn you have the browns a deep brown and then something warm brown and then a cooler brown and then you also have like um what do you call that? Some earthy oranges or earthy pinks there. So that can be um, an inspiration for you. There are websites that can choose the color palette for you. Yeah, like Pinterest. Yeah. As far as I know, there are websites that can choose the color palette for you. You can upload a photo and then it will just, um, what do you call that? Identify the different colors. And then that will help you out. So we, there, I already answered this. For our viewers out there, if you have questions, just feel free to comment down below. There, or just use any, no rules. That is true. Makeup really is art. And yeah, <laughs> there are no rules here. Only guidelines. Or something you can start with so that you can get it, get the ball rolling. Now I'm just going to apply my shimmer. I'm using this flat, dense brush. And I'm getting my setting spray. This one is also from L'Oreal. So. Yes, guys, you can share our stream. There. So now I'm just going to tap it in. As much as possible, you want the crease. And the crease shade right here, matte. There, because you want to deepen this up. There, create a fake crease. And if you use a shimmer instead, you won't get the same effect. There. 
Then what I want to do is apply that again a little bit higher or exactly on my wood. Right there. Do you have any color combination suggestions, guys? For the other eye that I'll do? Ano kaya pag black and green lang yung eyeshadow? Haha, ano kaya mukha? Black and green eyeshadow? I actually thought that to thin <laughs> on our um, uh, smoky eye class. Yes, tag your hooded eye friend. This will definitely help them. I'm going to teach you how to do your eyeliners in a little bit. Anyway, I'll go back in using my crease shade brush, the one that I used for the second shade, and then just blend the edges of my shimmer and my crease. Actually, it looks good. Black and green smoky eye. Yes. <laughs> Finn pointed out that I that my favorite color might be green because I keep using green in my eye looks. I don't know why. Press one if you want set to do a cut crease yet. Press one, press one, press one. I'm gonna use a flat fluffy brush right now. Here you go, this is how it looks like. And then I'll apply my transition shade, the first shade that I applied all over my lash line. Right there. By doing very, very small circular motions and windshield wiper. And then I just want to drag that a little outwards because I want to wing out my eye look. There. And then with a separate brush, or you can actually use something like this. This is, this is a pencil pipe brush. It's tapered to a tip. Very kind of like a pencil or a pen like that you can pick up your crease shade or any eyeshadow for that matter and apply it very precisely like so. you want me to do cut crease for hooded eyes guys press one here so once you deepen this up you want to go back in with your transition shape brush and smoke out that harsh edge. There you go. Let me just relax my eyes so that you can see. You cannot. Can I see the comment, please? <laughs> nope, I cannot. <clears throat> oh, ayan, I can see pala. There are a lot of ones. Dapat sa TikTok ka na lang nag-stream. <laughs> Di mo ako pinapansin dito. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm not the one manning the stream. But yeah, I can see it now. There you go. People are pressing one. Sa isang makeup look po, ilang brush po nagagamit ninyo. Um, you can go for like just one brush actually that's um that's possible but for me i use at least like so one two three four five there so pretty now on this coach thank you denise <laughs> there so i use um at most five or seven brushes in one eye look depending on the eye look Okay, so people have been pressing one for the dog, uh, for the cut crease for hooded eyes, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, first, want to map out again a fake crease. I'll use a deeper shade now. Nasa na po yung 15 billion of free. <laughs> Nasa na nga ba? <laughs> okay, again, um, if you can notice this eye right here is... Um, has less lid space and the other eye, right? So what I want to do is even it out a little bit. So again, relax your eye and then map out that fake crease right there exactly on your hood. That's the fake crease now, right there. When doing an eye makeup, what's the average time that I should finish it for a client? Let's say for a smoky eye. 
Nag-practice ako, I think, ang tagal ko nag-makeup, lalo pag, mag- pag maliliit yung mata and space between the brows and eyes. Well, generally, it should be like, roughly 10 minutes or so. Like 5 minutes for the base, and then another um 5 for the brows, and then 10 minutes for the eyes. Include that should include eyeshadows, eyeliner, application of false eyelashes, and then um kind of like five minutes again for a face makeup, another five for adjustments. So let's say for example your client, you're done with the look for your client, um you're going to ask them, ma'am or sir, do you want anything adjusted, like less bronzer, less blush? There, and then you'll take roughly five minutes to adjust everything. And then 10 for hair prep, uh, I mean 5 minutes for hair prep, and then another 5 for the actual hairstyle. Yay! Haha, Katrisa, ha, para makorek ko pag nakamali ko kanina. Hindi naman mo kanina, Pia. <laughs> pag smoky eye yung lid color muna before transition para mas mabilis. That is true! Haha, <laughs> ang tagal ko pala talaga. Yes! Actually, yung all moms. <laughs> Mouse is also one of our students here at MSA. Here. And then I'm gonna get a clean blending brush and just smoothen that part, the top part of that fake crease. I'm gonna do a full cut crease. Of course, you can always do a half cut crease. Anong look po yung ginagawa ninyo? I'm doing a full cut crease for hooded eyes because they requested it. I did our, um, a basic Eye contouring for the other. There. And then I'm just highlighting my brow bone using that cream colored eyeshadow. Guys, our classes are 20% off until January 31. Again. Just, uh, we have a voucher for that 25% discount. All you have to do to avail that voucher is to message us on Facebook. Okay, so now you want to deepen this up. That's how it looks like. Go to Loco Smoky the Healthy Coach said. Thank you so much, Finn. Okay, so now that you've mapped out where your crease should be, you want to deepen up the bottom part. There you go. I'm just using my pencil type brush to very precisely deepen up the bottom part of that cut. Right there. Nagkat kis ko kanina ko na di ako na satisfied sa gawa ko. It's okay, Pia. It actually took me a while to master cut trees for hooded eyes. It's very difficult <laughs> to, uh, if you have hooded eyes. Basta pag hooded, look straight para ma-check from time to time. Yes. Oh, nakaka-proud naman itong si Tin. Let me just get a smaller brush. Okay. Ah, here. It's here. It is here. Okay. And then I'll apply a deeper shade. An even deeper shade. Hello, Coach. Magkano po ba Morphe palette niyo? It depends on the palette that you want. You can check out our Shopee account or Shopee Shopee Shop. <laughs> what do you call the pages on Shopee? Flagship stores. There. So now I dipped into my brown and my black. I mixed them together to get a deeper shade. If you can notice, my eyes are very much relaxed. So that I can see where my features are naturally forming. Go. Gumilis na ako, coach. Kasi paulit-ulit kung ginagawa. Tapos nag-explore na ako ng colors. Yay! Diyan naman talaga nagsistart yan. No, you want to explore the wonderful world of makeup artistry. Guys, don't forget, we have a voucher going on. Just message us on Facebook to avail that voucher. Ano po recommend yung palette na pwede kong gamitin sa different looks? 
you can go for the James Charles or the well essentially you want a palette that has mattes and shimmers and then a good selection also of neutrals and some pops of color so that you have a very nice uh like uh, like options for when you do your eyeshadow looks makeup challenge for so coaches like trying to do makeup look throughout the decades Oh, that's a nice suggestion, Pia, if we find the time. <laughs> yes, we are all so busy. Just the other day, I did eight and a half hours or eight hours of passing. I'm not complaining. We are all not complaining. We are so happy. Thank you so much for supporting and trusting Makeup Science Asia. There you go, that's the fake crease. Tips po coach for color selection ng eye makeup kung bagay sa damit. Um, ibagay mo siya sa damit. <laughs> I mean, you can always go for like um, a complementary color or safest monochromatic yung scheme where, let's say for example, I have a blue shirt on now. I'm going to go for a blue eyeshadow. Right? If you want complementary so that your eyeshadow would really pop out, then you can go for an orange eyeshadow. Just making sure that everything is very nicely blended together. Soft, smooth transition. Let me take a peek at the chat. Nakaka-stress sa work, nag-makeup pa na. Nalang ako, pampasaya ng buhay. Yes, actually, you know, makeup rin talaga is a form of self-love. It's been difficult, but we're still all here. Can someone get me a micellar water? <laughs> oh, it's here. Okay, this should be enough. Okay, so now you want to remove... Thank you so much. Guys, ito na naman tayo. Ayan. These are our favorite micellar waters. We've been trying out different micellar waters, but we keep coming back to these ones from Garnier. Cool. So let me just get some of this pink micellar water to remove... The product under this cut crease. Essentially, I'm gonna do a cut. Uh, I'm gonna cut my crease with this micellar water, right here. At the bottom. Key in your recently used emoji, so we can see how you feel about this stream. Yes, please. Just very precisely cutting that piece. Guys, practice is key. I am most probably going to get my cellar water in my eye again. What's your favorite micellar water, guys? Comment them down below. Oh, bakit, you know, bakit sad, Ali? Ali, we miss you. Please come over. Umili po ako ng pink and yellow niyan na micellar water dahil budol po ng MSA. Thank you so much. I'm just wiping off the residual micellar water on my eyelids so that it wouldn't mix with the eyeshadow that I'm gonna put in here. Oops. Oh, I have muta. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Ideally, use a cotton pad for this or a cotton uh, Q-tip. Hey, 
Can you stay up all night? <laughs> like for more in skin, please recommend a color combination that would look nice to daylight and day. You can always go for a warm uh, for warm browns. And olives. Um olive tones like this, no greens. Here. Essentially earth tones. So for morenas, you can go for something like a warm brown like this one or this one. And then olive shades like these. And then of course copper, bronze, gold, the the earthy shades in your palette. Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. Now I'm gonna put concealer again. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna put concealer in there. Of course, I'm still using the L'Oreal Infallible Fullwear Concealer. I'll put that at the back of my hand and pick it up using a domed concealer brush. Hi, Riza. You want to use the domed concealer brush so that it can um, hug the natural curve of the cut crease that you did. And then just very precise, you cut that crease. So remember guys, relax your eye. Then put your eyeshadows. And then that's when you can stretch your eye area. There you go. I also extended that cut crease right there. This is just how I want it naturally. But of course, you can um, push it into your inner corner here instead of what I did. Then I'm just blending that. And that is how it should look like. Hi, Hannah! Okay, so now I'm just going to apply that cream colored eyeshadow again just to make the cut crease pop even more coach Anglinas, thank you so much using a flat fluffy brush and packing that on there and then just tap it in who said eyeshadows who said i uh who did i can't wear cut creases or even just generally eyeshadows. Hi, Kim! Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm doing coded eye makeup. I'm dropping all the tips and tricks for you guys, for all my hooded guys out there. There. If you want to deepen this up even more, you can get a very small brush. And very precisely just create that line. Hukulangan pa kasi ako dito sa part na to, sa outer corner. Yes, and guys, our classes are all 25% off once you avail the voucher. And how do you avail the voucher, you ask? You just have to message us on Facebook. Makeup Science Asia. There and then I'm just doing a very hi Juni. Blending that upwards towards my cut piece. I mean towards my transition shade. There. See? Okay. So relax your eye, map out where you want your fake crease to be, and you can get that much space. <laughs> From your eyes, it won't get eaten up by the flab of your hooded eye. I'm extending it inward and extending it outward also to compensate for the lack of this space. Hi, Cams! We're almost near putting on eyeliners. Do you have any eyeliner questions, guys? 
I'm gonna put my transition shade all over my lower eyelid. Hello po sa lahat ng mababait ng coaches ng NSA. Hi, Lisa! Mababait ba talaga kami? Parang... <laughs> Parang di naman. Sharp. Coach, ano mas maganda? Daily brush or yung bagay niyong set ng brushes? Meron silang parehong... Pareho silang merong ano? Um, merong ano? <laughs> merong advantages. The do care one. Oh yeah, they're both very soft. And I'm just precisely applying that black. And then blending it out using the transition shade skin. Gamali yata ako ng pick up ng transition shade, but okay. Coach, anong magandang eyeliner? My personal favorite pa rin talaga is Forever, the gel eyeliner. Whether it's from LA Girl or the L'Oreal Gel Intensa. Actually, just that's what I'm gonna use today. Or where's the LA Girl one? Can someone get me the LA girl? <laughs> the gel eyeliner from LA girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. I didn't do so much complicated stuff here at the lower eyelid. So professional career nyo, meron, meron do I need to invest in all shades of foundation. I'd like to pursue a professional makeup artist career, but I think my future clients will be Caucasians or Turkish or Indian. Yung sa makeup days, ako medyo nag-aalala. Yes, Mavs! <laughs> well, remember what we taught you here uh, on your 101, right? You need three shades of foundation, a lightening shade, a base shade, and then a darkening shade. As for Caucasians, they do get too light or too dark, so you have to use also a very light lightening shade and a very dark darkening shade. Ganda. Thank you so much, Fessa Lon Fessa Lonica Santos Nunes. <laughs> there is none. It's just the brown. So, yeah, I'll just use the brown. It's okay. Sorry. It is fine. Wait, I have here. Never mind. And <laughs> okay, so really like these gel eyeliners. Actually, ako tong Ayan. I like this gel intensa one from Gloria. And then the LA Girl is a studio favorite talaga ever since. I actually like this LA Girl also, but I'm trying to finish my gel intensa. Very light lightening and very dark darkening. Yes, darkening shades. <laughs> Starbucks tayo. Bakit may umiiyak na naman ba? Okay, guys, eyeliner tips for hooded eyes. Tight lining is the way to go. Okay, this is how you do your tight line. You want to push that eyeliner onto your, the, the wet part under your lashes or that soft tissue under your lashes. You want to use like waterproof products for this, either a pencil eyeliner or a gel eyeliner. Unfortunately, most pencil eyeliners transfer, while gel eyeliners don't. Or at least from the ones I've tried. There. If you can notice, this adds more definition on your eye without, um, you call that, wasting any of that hard work. On your eyeshadows. Nahira pa na ako mag tight line. Relax ka lang. <laughs> it, uh, it does get easier. You can also get like a handle of a brush like that. Just try it upwards. Then proceed to pushing that on there. Okay, so that is how to define your eyes with tight lining. Of course, you can always line your lash line. That's applying eyeliner on top 
of your lashes. Yes, tama si Tin, sanayan yan. Sam, are you still there? Baka magtampo ka na naman. There. So, I like using an angled brush, by the way. Here it is. It's a little wider at the base and then softer to the touch so that um, I can spend less time on my eyeliner. There. When I do my lash line liner for hooded eye peeps, I just very carefully stamp that there. Then, almost exactly where my lashes grow. I stamp it first. And then after stamping, I'm going to drag that pigment. It's just much easier to create a line if you have guides there. And by the way, guys, if you want to create a thicker eyeliner for um, lash line for hooded eyes, you can put thicker a thicker eyeliner here on this part of the eye um, at the outer third of your eye so that it can give you an elongated effect. Plus, it's not going to get eaten up by the hood of your eyes. And then, this is how I do my liner. Um, for myself, what I do is I just relax my eye like so. Look straight. There. And then, just proceed to stamping it. After I've done my stamp, that's already the guide or the bottom of my wing. Ginda ng eyeliner brush. Thank you. This is actually just a generic brush right here. Bailey has uh, has this. I'm so poripot kasi guys. <laughs> but when I find something that's cheap, very, very cheap, that I like naman. Yeah, pero Bailey is super affordable. I actually have a set. And so again, just relax your eye. That's the bottom part of the wing now. You want to create that top part. For the top part, you just want to glide that. Ah, sige, dito ko gagawin para mas makita niya yung pag-glide. We'll also fold you in closer. There. Then, glide it down. And blend it towards the rest of your eyeliner. Okay. That's the top part already. What you want to do, Coach said, is kuripot sa brushes. Sabi ko sana na sabi niya. <laughs> I'm so kuripot at everything, not just brushes. So if I do buy something, then it means I really like it. There. You just want to fill that in. There you go. And then blend that towards the rest of your eye light. Clean up the bottom part. It's <laughs> I am, I am. Oh, na! <laughs> okay, another tip for people with hooded eyes out there, you can go for a bat wing eyeliner. What is a bat wing eyeliner? That's when you create... Wait, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you just so we can do this already. Okay, so as you can see here, my outer corner is curling down too low, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that lash line liner first. First one I've said is. <laughs> Guess who is manning the street? If you absolutely want to make a thicker wing, you can do a bat wing eyeliner. Relax your eye. Okay. 
Then just do that part first. Then connect. Okay. Coach that, wag ka muna magpagupit. Hindi na nga muna po. <laughs> Sumusunod naman po. Ako nakikinig naman ako. Char. Okay, sige. Wait lang na. Isuputin ko lang daw. Then I'll show you. Okay, this is the outline of your bat wing liner. If you can see, for, uh, looking straight, there, it forms a wing. Mm. But when you stretch out your eye, it's kind of like a bat wing where it's flatter at the top and then it curves like that. Let me fill it in so that you can see what I'm talking about. This is going to make you... Um, one, 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 one. Thank you so much. Press 5 if you want Coach Abby to cut Coach Sets <laughs> They want me to grow it out na nga. Okay, I'm just filling in my backing eyeliner. This is what I like about gel eyeliners. You can control its opacity. And with a good and with a good angle brush, you can create different styles. Okay, let me just get a flat definer brush for Tina. <laughs> Coach Mikey ng gugulo. It's been a while since I last did a bad big line. We don't we we don't usually teach this on our classes. Or the 101 that is. Top part. Who I'm sharp who is an all thank you. There you go. Okay, so that's what you want. When you look straight, you have that wing, <laughs> right? But if you stretch your eye, it looks like that. It's like a bat wing where uh, you have like parallel lines going upwards and then a sharp edge like so. Hi Dao, Coach Mikey, says Maureen Balboa. Okay. Let's talk about false eyelashes now for hooded eyes and <laughs> my eyes are still different just another day at MSA well anyway so if you have hooded eyes or monolids what you want is a lash style that doesn't look like a block or caterpillars on your lash lid, lashes and also something like this yeah like, like like this not so much like that so that it doesn't cover the, the, the eyeshadows that you put in there this um Something like this, so that you have a reference. There you go. Your eyeshadows will still peek through from this, um, from this kind of style right there. And my personal favorite is a wispy style, where it's longer at the outer corner and it gets shorter towards the inner corner. This would elongate your eye, creating like an elongated effect. Again, to compensate for the lack of lid space. Okay, there you go. Do you have any questions, guys? 
Let me just check. Hala, nag-5 sin Christian. <laughs> First age is gugupitan ni Coach Abby si Coach Seth now na. CJ! Bakit? May ganit kabasahan. Yung cat ay maganda po. Um, excuse me. What do you mean, Tin? Cat eye eyeliner? <laughs> no. <laughs> yung cat eye eyeliner ba? Yes. Yes. Generally, no. You When you do your cat eye eyeliner, you want it following the natural slant of your lower lash line. That should go up. And that's going to lift naman this part of your face. Also creating that illusion of like, a larger lid space. Cat eye lashes po. Longer at the outer corner, Charlie. Right? Yes. <laughs> Wispy din siya. Oh, oh. There. Oh, you can also go for the um short uh longer at the center so that it can open up your eye, but make sure that it's not blocked of false eyelashes on your eyelid. Alright, guys. Ayan, ayan, asa na ba? Okay, so I got, uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and TikTok. We're all over the place. <laughs> we are again Makeup Science Asia and I am Coach Seth, your resident hooded eye slash morena slash whatever person here on MSA. Thank you so much for joining tonight's stream. I hope you were able to learn from me different tips and tricks for hooded eyes and yeah go ahead and do your eye makeup and don't forget to tag us so that we can see just the goodness <laughs> no. but yeah bye guys thank you so much